Hey everyone, Chef Patrick here from Sabroso. Welcome to my kitchen. Sabroso in Spanish means tasty, yummy, savory, full of flavor, and that's what cooking should be about. Today I'm making one of my favorites, tacos a pastor. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing. But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools. Te vamos a enseñar unas recetas del baúl. Slice, dice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild. We got it, you just name the style. One in a meal, culinary skills, prestigioso. Todo queda sabroso. There are three components to this dish. The tortilla, the salsa, and of course, the pork al pastor. Let's start with the marinade. In a cast iron pan on medium heat, I'll be adding some pasilla, ancho, and guajilla chilies, along with two onions that I cut in quarters. I'm not adding any oil because I wanna blister the chilies and get a little char on the onion. I'm also adding a few cloves and allspice berries. Now I'm adding some chicken stock. This will help to rehydrate the chilies to make them soft and pliable for blending. Turn off ah, the heat, ah, cover ah, with foil and let steep for five minutes. In a blender, add the rehydrated chilies, onions, and spices. Two cups diced fresh pineapple. two chipotle peppers in their adobo sauce. Four crushed garlic cloves. Quarter cup apple cider vinegar. Half a cup orange juice. One tablespoon achiote powder. This will give the pork a deep red color. One tablespoon each dried oregano and thyme. One tablespoon kosher salt. And one teaspoon black pepper. Place the lid and blend on high speed until you have a smooth puree. Now it's time to marinate the pork with the al pastor marinade. In a large Ziploc bag, add the pork. I'm using pork cutlets here. And pour half of the marinade over the cutlets. Remove most of the air and seal the bag. Marinate the pork cutlets overnight. It's been 24 hours, so let's cook our pork. Take the cutlets out of the bag, removing most of the marinade, and place in a baking dish. Cover with aluminum foil and place in a 350 degree oven for one and a half hours or until the pork is pork tender. Now let's go to our second component, the homemade tortillas. This is masa harina, corn flour, which is best for making corn tortillas aside from grinding your own corn. It's also gluten free. In a large bowl, add two cups of the masa harina. To that, we're adding one and a half cups of water to start. We'll add a couple of tablespoons of water later. I find it best to mix the ingredients with my hand because it gives me a better feel for the dough. I'm pretty fast, by the way. Yeah. 
So it has formed the ball, but I still have some flour on the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to add more water, a tablespoon at a time, until I have the consistency that I'm looking for. Now I have the consistency I'm looking for. It should be softer than Play-Doh, where you can easily leave an imprint in the dough. I'm going to knead this for a couple of minutes and then place in a bowl and cover with a moist paper towel for 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's start our third component to this dish, pineapple and tomatilla salsa. Here we have fresh pineapple, tomatillos, jalapeno pepper, and sliced red onion. We're going to grill these to add some char and smokiness to complement the Al Pastor flavor profile. Make sure you open a window. We're going to cut the salsa ingredients into a small dice. Here you'll experience my amazingly super fast knife skill. I'm adding some chopped cilantro to the mix. Now it's time to add some acid. I like to roll the lime on the cutting board to release its juices. Cut in half and squeeze the juice into the bowl. Add about a teaspoon of salt, this will wake up the flavors, and a quarter teaspoon black pepper. I like to add a drizzle of honey to balance out the acidity of the tomatillos and a drizzle of olive oil to bring everything together. Stir until combined and refrigerate until ready to use. Our dough has rested for 30 minutes. I divided it and rolled it out into two ounce balls. I'm using a tortilla press, but you can use a heavy bottom pan to achieve the tortilla shape. I cut two circles from a gallon sized Ziploc bag and I'll place the dough between them. Close and press into a 5-inch tortilla. The tortilla is very fragile, so the best way to get it off the plastic is by laying it over your hand and peeling the plastic back. Immediately, place the tortilla in a hot saute or cast iron pan. Cook for about 1-2 to two minutes per side. When tortilla inflates, you know it's cooked. Place in a tortilla basket or simply in aluminum foil. However, make sure to stack them to create steam, which will result in a more pliable tortilla. 
I shredded the pork and added some additional marinade, salt to taste, and a squeeze of lime. Now let's assemble our tacos al pastor. I'll put two of our soft homemade tortillas on a plate and top with a couple of tablespoons of the shredded pork. Top with some grated cotija cheese. Add the pineapple and tomatilla salsa. Some fresh sprigs of cilantro and a lime wedge. There we have our tacos al pastor on homemade corn tortillas with a pineapple and tomatilla salsa. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like these, click that subscribe button and you'll stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.